pocket MX. Right off of Route 66, where the ruts are diabolical and taste lemon scented. We have a free community track created by Food Creations. <laughs> what up, and this is Josh, your boy IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. In today's video, we are here at Parker MX created by Fluke Creations. This track is free. All right, it came out on the shop, I mean, on the mods page and uh, in the title or in the description, you said, you know, I wanted to give back to the community and show that everything's not paid in MX Bikes. And I greatly appreciate that. I hope the community appreciates that. So huge W to Fluke. I mean, huge W to you, Fluke. And um, yeah, just do some fun laps is like really my first experience on some of this. I think I did one starter lap just to see uh, how the track flows. I am on a Honda 250. Just decided to get away from the Yamaha 250. And um, yeah, just really look at this map i mean this track is absolutely beautiful i'm glad you know people are still feeling considerate and wanting to get back to the community and just show that everything not is not or does not need to be paid and i was looking actually on the page this is like a couple pages back there's a lot of tracks that came out lately and um you know i'm not really the one to do a lot of tr track reviews but for first impressions i like it dude and it's kind of making me want to do more track reviews like He's kind of set the bar right now to where it's like I've seen like five different tracks come out like right around, you know, July 4th. And so, so this is really worth it. Um, I definitely think you guys should pick this up on MXB Mods. Um, I'm hoping that there's going to be a server version for this. Um, there's been a lot of tracks that came out um, that doesn't have a server version. So hopefully we can get some new tracks in rotation, especially a lot of these free ones. Um, not saying that the old tracks that we're riding are planned or anything like that. Like no, no disrespect to anybody like that. It's just... You know, we just got to keep it updated and fresh so i would really encourage that we could try to get some of these uh tracks up on the server list um but you know that all goes to nico or end up where i can hit up stratos at the time him and uh stratos and mouse are the only two people i know that have server access that are like i guess i i feel like comfortable hitting up to put this on uh the daddy list so might have to hit, add that here soon or see what's up but hopefully everybody's having a good weekend i hope anybody i Hope I didn't spoil any IRL stuff, but you guys will see this on Monday. Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about it, man. I think Red Butt was absolutely insane. Um, I will say it's it was nowhere near being born. Like whether that was the you know 450 class or the 250 class, even though that boy freaking Chase Sex went absolutely stupid, bro, on the beat. He was amazing, man. But hey, huge shout out to them. Huge shout out to Shimoda, Chance Hymas, literally getting his first win. Um, Deegan kind of fell back, though. I'll be 100% honest. Deegan fell back, man. Look at these booters, dude. Holy smokes. I like these. I like those two jumps, dude. Those are really nice. And and these bumps, these breaking bumps are absolutely to die for. Some really good, like, ruts. Um, very well very well placed. I like the environment, just being out in the uh, wood line. I wonder if this is an actual place IRL. Probably not. Parker MX, I could look it up. But uh, this would be a sick track to go to IRL if this was. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys ever been here. This is just like a fantasy track. It didn't really say in the description, and I I, I didn't feel like looking it up. But um, also, hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, camera view. Um, I just thought I'd change it up from the green screen and just maybe show more about you know my I guess my setup a little bit. But let me know. Um, I'm gonna end up changing my. Uh, my key light from over here to over here. I just knew when I turned it on, all the light was coming over here and it was just gonna like contrast. It was just gonna look weird. So I didn't do that yet, but uh, let me know if you guys enjoy it. I am gonna try it on streams to see if people like it. Um, last time I tried to change my camera setting or my camera view, people were like, oh, it doesn't feel as if you're like personable enough to talk into this, you know, the reactions and all that. So we'll see this time ago, this time around, see if you guys enjoy it. If not, I'll go back, but um, yeah, man super sick on that also i need a new controller all right for some reason i've tried to change my stick uh my dead zone but when you change your dead zone too high then it starts to get a little weird for you to actually try to do your controller settings and you got to fix it and stuff um but my stuff is literally le like leaning to the left so much so um that's gonna be my next move here soon is to work on getting me a new ps5 controller Dude, look at this. i love that i love that jump that's my favorite my favorite jump but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be working on getting myself a new PS5 controller. Um, looks like the times here are good around like a 140, maybe even a in a 130s if you can actually run a pretty good lap, which I'm not running any good laps. <laughs> I need to still figure out my line choice, especially trying to come into these to these inside rollers. They have some really nice freaking bumps. I'm glad for this to be free, man. I'm, I'm glad you know so many tracks are coming out at the moment and. 
This is not like it just a track to where like, he threw it together and it was just like, oh, you know, I'm just going to give this to give this. I um, mean, he actually put some thought into this with his team, man. So huge shout out to you, Fluke. I appreciate that. I um, mean, I bet the community does as well. I really want to take this outside because this is a huge table. Like, I, I still haven't even made that on a 250, dude. I think that's the hardest jump to make, but we're going to have to really, like, put some muscle memory onto it and make sure we go take the full outside. I think that was down three seconds. Yeah, all right, I'm at a 141. See what this inside's looking like. You can probably just rail that outside if you really wanted to. But look at that bump. That's a nice little freaking bump you can take. And then I know you can take this full inside. There we go. Third gear. Woo, look at that wheelie, man. Beta 19 is absolutely insane. Um... I was harping up on it just talking about you got to be more on that front wheel just for the uh difference of like leaning and um man it's actually really cool just to just to see that like what i was talking about actually makes sense and a lot of people have seen it just the front tuck situation and i will say i think 90s the 90 tire is definitely just where it's at if you guys haven't seen that video definitely go click on that video um just so you can see it in sand but the 90 tire feels great that's what i'm running right now uh, i think it's just stopping a lot of that front tuck stuff um, I think it's maybe sometimes harder for you to turn the bike at times, maybe? I don't know. Still trying to test that out, but so far, yeah, we'll slow that down. First gear. Dang, I thought I still slowed it down. I freaking, <laughs> I revved up at the very last second. Dude, this outside's looking, or at least right here. Those freaking bounces are nice, dude. I yeah, still got to figure out that section. Because I know if you take the full inside right there, it's like literally super bumpy and you got to like hold on for dear life. This outside's looking like. Bad. Let's go outside to outside, like crosses. And let's stay on this outside. Go third gear. See if we can make this table. It's the only way, I think, on a 250. Yep. Yeah, if you take that inside, you're not making it. So, W to that. I really like it, man. I enjoy it. This is a beautiful track. Like I said, it, it, means, some, it means a lot, and it means that you actually, like, wanted this for the community. You actually built it when... It just looks visually, gra like graphic-wise, like super nice. It feels great to where it's like not just a flat track. This is something that you can actually pick up, train at, and practice at. I think it's got some really good booters. I'd recommend this for any new beginner. You got tabletop, something that you could literally learn on how to jump IRL to where if you're not fully making it, you're at least landing. You got up and overs. You got two up and overs at that, right back to each other. Good scrub right there. Um, two big booters here. A lot of twisties and turnies. I like this middle line. The third gear. Full sin with a hop. Oh, did I land it? <sighs> Dude, if I would have brought that back, bro. Also, while I'm here, um, Kelso merch, guys, go freaking hit it up on uh, www.ibskelso.com. And um, yeah, man, give that a give that a look, bro. Give that a go. Um, just got this new hoodie in. It's kind of like a, a mesh, good little jogger suit. Got the Kelso with a little bit of. If I can show it off real quick. A little bit of jail time right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. And go check it out, man. I just keep adding stuff on there, you know, coming out with our emotes and stuff. And it's been a real hit so far. So I do appreciate everybody that has, you know, just supported me in this whole journey and actually bought some merch. You guys absolutely are absolutely crazy. Um, I really want to get back on this track on a 450. Really see how wide open I can go for it. Or maybe even a 125. Um, I like the Honda here and the 250s. And I do think the Honda, the Honda now that the weight is shifted off this back wheel towards the front wheel, I feel like it has more torque and it has more drive. Um, it's another thing I could be wrong, but I think the heavier bikes are more viable now. I'm not saying it's a drastic change right now. There's nothing changed with the actual bikes, just the game physics. Um, but I think it's nice. I do. That far outside actually felt really nice for you to get a full jump over. I think that's the line right there. So full outside to get full jumped over. Then you take that inside to there. Probably get a good scrub right here. Far out. Nice, right, staying low. Probably just jump that as far as you want. Scrub that. Or at least stay low. Outside, low line. Oh, jump right in those bumps. Third gear. Full jump. Big boy whipperoo. That's got to be like, a, what, a, a 60 foot jump, dude? 80 foot? Like, oh my god, that's massive, dude. This is like the perfect freaking uh, track to like show right off the Red Bud, man. Like, big jump like that. Which Red Bud was gnarly IRL, man. I love that track, dude. 
That freaking uh, one lap rider, dude, that literally endoed off that one jump, dude, was nasty, bro. I was like, dude, there's no way. And like I said, dude, the 250s, like, Joe Shimoda showed up, man. Chance Hymas, even Vial. I know he went down, bro, but Vial, Type Masterpool showed up. Even Levi Kitchen was getting his groove back. Like, I'm not saying, like, he was going absolutely ape crap, but... And, uh, yeah, he was even he was even putting on a show for a little bit. And um, it just goes to show, man, starts mean everything. Starts mean everything in that in showbiz right now. And you you really fight from the back of the pack, bro. You can see how much, like, Ty Masterpool literally got gassed. Like, when he got that whole shot from the first one, he was he was bullying, right? Second one, dude, he got gassed as hell, man. It just sucks to say it, bro. I wonder, I wonder how an elimination race would go here, dude. The lines are perfect, man. The, the bumps are creative. Perfect breaking bumps. I don't really, I couldn't, I'm not gonna lie, dude, I can't really, I'm not a really, like, I've just started doing this to where it's like I'm starting to name track creators that created tracks. I usually never look at the track creators, I always just do the, do the track, and that's, like, really bad on me, like, but I just started doing that. I can't think off the top of my head, Fluke, what you else you have created. Um, if someone else knows, like, what you are known for, and or if you want to say in the comment section, if you, if you ever watch this, I doubt it, but if you do, greatly appreciate that, but... Um, yeah, man, I, I really want to know what else you've created, like, off the top, because I'm pretty sure I've written your stuff before. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's it right there, you know? But pretty nice right here. It's a good line. I'm up one second. So I told you it was going to be in the 130s. Maybe you can even break a sub-30 if you're him, which I'm not him yet. But I'm up, like, almost two seconds right now. And that's at a 132 if I can keep it alive. Maybe even gain time here. Nice and low. Third gear. Pull we'll sent off this big boy table. That's a massive table, dude. That's a massive table. All right, we're at a, we're at a 132. Let's see if we can drop that down even to like a 130. See if we can break the sub. Uh, oh, 131, actually. See if we can break it to the, to the sub 20s. A 0.5 right now. That'd get me almost there. Take the second line since I missed that first one fourth gear we definitely got slowed down if i would have took that inside line i think we'd have been up on some time that's okay maybe we can make it up right here starting to really get a groove now especially over these wall jumps that's where we're probably gonna lose a lot of time probably send the first wall jump and scrub the second one nice big freaking scrub third gear third gear oh <laughs> no! Too much of a scrub. Man. About me right there. Definitely want to run one good clean lap. Or try to break it. I think it's possible. I think it's really possible. At least on a 250. I know 450s for sure are breaking sub 20s. So I want, I want to know that we can see how far we can get into the 20s. Or at least break it. And I'll be happy with that. To where it's like I can come back on my off time. Put the work in. That's hard to actually make that line right there. So you might as be... You might as well just take the outside so you can fully make it. Because now it gives you a bad run through there. I probably can make this inside. Probably save me some time. Okay. I'm just I'm just testing all this for the next lap. I mean, just testing it all for the next lap. Parker MX, but ladies and gentlemen, this is where it's at. Free track, dude. Free freaking track. Alright. Let's fully lock in. Set it up. Show off our Joe Shimo, don't you know. Also, huge shout out to RC Designs. And huge shout out to Cryco still, man. Uh, really just creating me some really cool stuff lately and I appreciate you and a huge shout out to my whole community everybody that's supporting me all my subs all my subs every day and we're just growing dude growing every day I'm glad I took a day off uh, on Saturday from streaming really just kind of made me like realize that like I just want to get away from streaming and look like outside the box to understand like are we doing anything good for the community and or are we like like how many haters we have and how much like good and like does good weigh out the bad of the haters because Man, lately I've been getting that hate, man. I love it, dude. I love every second of it, you know what I mean? So, but then I realized, like, the people that are hating are just not part of my, like, like they just don't F with me at all, and they're not part of my community. And they're people, they're, they're kind of, I guess, they're salty that I'm I'm doing better than whatever, whoever they're supporting right now, so. And, yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't really care at the end of the day, you know what I mean? So, but I just had to take a step back and realize, you know, like, are we are we in a right mindset for like how we're like moving like along and honestly at the end of the day I, I'm in a good mindset I feel healthy I feel healthy enough to where it's like I'm not burning myself out and um, I love every second of 
riding with community. So I don't feel burnt out. I feel great. Um, this is where I want to be, and we're here to grind, man. So I, I've realized I'm a really good entertainer for a live stream. I love live streaming. Uh, maybe my videos aren't always there up to par. You know, maybe I'm just not the most entertaining video guy. But, you know, um, it'll come over time. It'll come over time for sure. I'm always, always here to conquer and learn. But um, I will say definitely I enjoy being a, a entertainer for on stream, man. I love stream. It's just where it's at, man. You meet the whole world. You get to talk to somebody. And you never know who you, whose day you're going to help. And um, I enjoy it, dude. So not going to stop that one bit. But, uh, yeah, guys, this is Parker MX created by Flute Creations. Go give it a download. Link will be down in the description. Thank you guys for hearing me rant. Thank you guys for hearing me yap. Um, I know I yap a lot, man. But I feel like it's all I feel like it's all informational. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes I can go on my own little spills. But for, for the most part, it's like, you know, clear vision of what we're talking about, right? But I would understand if we weren't and we were talking about some weird stuff. But I think everything was, like, about the track today. Um, about beta 19 and about IRL writing. So I think I think I did the right thing and I think I've never geared off that section Sometimes I do sometimes I just have stuff to say but <laughs> yeah too easy man. Thank you guys for watching I greatly appreciate it. Let me know about the con camera I do apologize that it's a little dark in here You can see how like motion of my hand is and all that but I'll get the light in here soon And it'll just um, I just didn't want to turn it on because the lights over here and the cameras are We'll fix it. Thank you guys for all that catch you guys in the next one your boy ideas kills Ba 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 pee. Bye.